So, yesterday, I was able to take the old 257 off the block, or off the engine stand. God, I just woke up. And get all, get sensors and plugs and everything else off that motor and put onto this this motor right here. Now, I also got the new oil warmer, cooler, whatever you want to call it, on yesterday. Um, now, needs timing guide. I could have swore to God I sent that in the box. Um, and I've, I spent hours looking through that box, which is one of the only places it could be, right along here, or right there. And Chase, he did send me an extra oil tube, or filler neck, um... And then I've got your TM gear right there, so I'll be sending that back to you too. Um, whatever doubles I come across, I'll send back to you, man. <clears throat> um, got the motor mounts off the old motor. Got one of them on the engine already. Got some of the tubing fed around. Um, this stuff on top is just kind of sitting here, so I'm going to get that all cleaned up today because, I mean, this is a brand new motor. You don't want stuff like that on your brand new motor because you're lazy, so. Everything's going to get cleaned up, and then I could get this motor in today, no problem, but I'm going to probably spend more time cleaning Stuff that's going back onto it that's not brand new, that would be impossible to find or spend months looking for it. And then I've got that intake to deal with because I don't know if you guys remember or not, but everybody's sleeping, so shh. But, um,. We still have all of this stuff to put on. So, we've got the TGV deletes, a couple little cob intake things, but, and then all the fueling. I've already got the fuel pump, and then I built a few braided fuel lines already, so those are just the ones I knew I could build without taking measurements. Because no matter what, the intake manifold is so far across, right? So, um, I'm going to run this in series. And if I have any issues with that, it'll be simple just to throw a Y splitters, build another hose, and make it parallel. So, um, yeah. So, I could... I could technically have it running today, but because I've also got to do this, I'll probably next weekend maybe. So we'll see how far I get today with pregnant wife that's due already and kid. Everybody needs my attention to do something, so we never know how long this will take. Oh, John. So I'm going to get to work. And, uh, this is still busted, so what I'm going to probably end up doing is I'll probably get this all together, get the tune in it so I can drive it and get the break-in done, and then I'll probably jet up to Tier 1 and have them put the new cover on. Well, it's in the car.
Oh, I will not be looking forward to that. It's like 10, 12 hour drive one way. So we'll have to work up something on the weekend or something like that to come in and get that fixed. So, alright guys. Talk to you later.